could I ask you please to give a big Bewley welcome to Lord Montague of Bewley. Well, that's really kind of you. Really, it should be me, indeed it is me, thanking all of you for coming. I've been practicing for weeks. Um, uh, how about, uh, you know, get out and get under? <laughs> no, I, I, I did learn the piano once, but I'm not going to try to play this keyboard today. Um, as I say, I, on behalf of all the trustees of the National Motor Museum Trust, thank you for coming and supporting this great uh, event, which is, you know, a bit of a trip down memory lane. I was at the opening of this motor museum uh, in July 1972, and one of the reasons I enjoyed it so much was I got a day off from school. <laughs> in, in fact, the whole school came and were given Union Jacks to wave as His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent uh, proceeded down the central path with my father prior to the opening ceremony. And, um, you know, that moment when the museum was opened really was, I think, the proudest moment in my father's life. He had achieved so much in the 20 years since he first opened Beauty to visitors. And, you know, just 20 years after that first visitor came in, this is what he had achieved. And uh, one of the things that... I have to remind myself and, and our visitors is that at that time our exhibits spanned a period of about 80 years. So, you know, the first car might have been from the early 1890s. Well, now, of course, we're spanning a history of around 130 years, and so it goes on. And, of course, our collections have, as a result, expanded considerably. And a lot of those items, it's not just cars, it's books, it's photographs, it's films, it's automobilia. And much of the, many of those items are normally stored in our collection centre. But of course we want to share these with other people. And that has, in a way, been part of the inspiration for our new exhibition, A Story of Motoring in 50 Objects. And in a few minutes, I will be formally declaring that open. But to, to turn back to what we have literally here in front of us, this great collection of cars from 19, well, the 1970s and particularly 1972, it, it really is like the beauty car park of that era. And uh, uh, as I think you all know, we've, we've had some voting going on so that these two trophies can now be presented. Now, the first one we're calling the People's Choice, and that has been voted on by anyone, all of you, who have come today. And I'm pleased to announce that the winner, which is here on my right, your left, is the 1972 Toyota Crown. So there is a second award. Now, when this was planned, this was um, going to be my personal award. But um, knowing that I was going to have rather a lot to do today, I was persuaded to hand over responsibility uh, for the choice of car, which I was very pleased to do, to the Starter Motor Ambassadors, uh, who are from Bicester, and they're part of a charity to encourage younger people to get involved with the motoring movement, and they have chosen the, again, uh, on my right, your left, the Lotus Elan. <laughs> I'd just like to emphasize that uh, in making, uh, putting together the, the, the 50 objects to tell the story of motoring, we have, for the first time across the site, used the Smartify app which means that you can, if you download the app, you can point your phone, not at a QR code, but actually at the objects in question, and it will then produce and present more information on the, on the car, sometimes film, photographs, other facts. And, so, and I've tried it, it really works very well. So if you haven't already got the Smartify app, do download it. I am very pleased to now officially declare the exhibition and please 
go and enjoy it and enjoy the afternoon. Thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, please extend that applause for Lord Montague of Bewley, and can you all give the museum a round of applause for 50 years? Yes.